What's going on guys, welcome back to the channel. Today I'm gonna to teach you how to create a custom liquid background inside DaVinci Resolve that you can use for your titles and videos. Let's get into it. A lot of us have or are making custom titles that we put in our videos that look really good, but sometimes you need something to add into that, like a background, and sometimes we have to go to stock footage, which works, but a lot of times it doesn't. Well, today I'm gonna to be teaching you guys how to create this custom liquid background that you can add into your videos. You can change the color of it. You can really personalize it to your taste and style. Let's load up DaVinci Resolve and we'll get going. So this may look super trippy and complicated, but it's really not that complicated. Uh, and it can make a really cool effect, especially if you've got titles, anything like that, and you just want a really interesting background. And I love that you can really customize it. So the first thing we need to do is create a fusion composition. So we can go right up here to the left, effects library, toolbox, and we are gonna go to effects. Fusion Composition, I'm gonna drag it, drop it in my timeline. We'll just leave this one alone and we'll start with a fresh one. Again, these are gonna start at five seconds standard. You can make it longer if you'd like. Five seconds is just fine for this tutorial. So we are gonna hover on top of it and we are gonna go inside of Fusion. So once we're inside Fusion, the first thing we need to do is create a background. So you can go right here where there's a little shortcut. We can hit background or we can hit shift spacebar and it will bring a background note up. Uh, we can't see anything on the screen, and if you hover on top of it, you can see that there is these two little dots, and they're black. If I hit one on my keyboard, it's going to bring it up on screen one. If I hit two, it's going to bring it up on both. If I shut off one, shut off two, just like that. So we are going to do on number one. So I want to make another background node. I'm just going to hit the background node again. It's going to go ahead and add a merge node in for me, and we are just going to go ahead and go right over here under Inspector Tools, uh, background, I'm gonna change the color to something I think is cool. Let's just do uh, a blue, that looks cool. Uh, again, we're not seeing it uh, because the merge is not shown. So we can hit number two. If we wanna see it right here, we could hit number one, whatever. With our background node selected, I'm gonna go right here to the B spline tool. Uh, again, you could hit shift spacebar if you'd like. Uh, I'm just gonna do it because it's got a little shortcut right here. Uh, in this, we're gonna start drawing. So I'm gonna make sure this is on number one so I can see it. Uh, everything is selected. I do like to make this a little bit smaller just so I can see. Uh, and I'm just gonna kind of draw, dragging. I'm just gonna kind of draw a weird looking shape. It doesn't have to be crazy cool or nothing too over the top, just something that will kind of, you know, be the shape of it. Uh, it's showing white right here because this is just the spline is on this screen. So don't worry about it. Our final out right here merge is uh, blue. That's the color it's going to be. If we don't like it again, we could go back in the background node and we could change it. Maybe we want a little bit of a deeper blue and we like that better. I'm going to hit command Z and go back to the normal blue I was at because I kind of like the brighter blue, especially on the black background. Uh, now, that's basically it for that right there. Uh, we're going to click on the merge right here, and we're going to add another background node. It's going to add another merge in for us. I like to just line these up so it's a little tidier. We're going to do the same thing. I'm going to click on merge number two, bring it up to screen number two. And you can see it's covered it up, and it's black because our background node is black. If I change the color to some kind of maroon, it's going to be covering the whole thing because again, we have not drawn it. If I turn the alpha all the way down, you can see it's underneath it. So I'm gonna do the same thing. I'm just gonna draw this around. I'm not really worried if it's not exactly perfect. I'm gonna fit that to screen so we can see it a little better. I'm actually gonna bring this over and just make one screen because we actually don't really need both at the time. Again, we're gonna do the same thing. Click on the last merge node we have, add another background. It's gonna do the same thing, add another merge. This is basically just a bunch of repeating steps. We're gonna add another draw tool, the spline tool. Uh, and in here, I'm gonna just kind of draw something that I think looks cool. I can move down here so we can see it a little better. I want this one just to be a little bit in the corner. Sure, that looks good. And again, you can't see it because A, it's black and B, because this is not uh, being shown. So I hit number two, let's change the color. Let's do like an orange. Sure, that looks pretty cool. I'm gonna go ahead and speed up through like five or six of these. This is basically the same thing. Merge, background, 
B-spline and I'm drawing shapes. It doesn't have to be perfect, amazing shapes. It just kind of is what it is. This is the last one we're going to add, so I'm just going to do a teal. I'll go ahead and draw this in kind of where I think looks cool. We're going to kind of draw this in random spots, so it's kind of peeking in a little bit. When it gets on the outside, we don't really have to pay too much attention to it. Um, let's go ahead and add number two so we can see it. Sure, that, that should work just fine. Again, you could go completely ham on this if you want. You could make this thing really, uh, you know, go crazy above and beyond, but this will work fine, trust me. The next thing we need to do is add a blur to this. So I am gonna make sure I've got merge eight, my last one selected. I'm gonna hit shift space bar. It's going to bring up our selection tool. And in here we are gonna look for blur and we're just gonna grab a Gaussian blur. I think that's how you pronounce it. I'm um, sorry if I'm butchering that. I'm gonna hit number two again so we can see that it's affecting it. Uh, and in here, over here under Inspector, Gaussian Blur, I am going to uncheck this right here so these are separated. That way I can independently kind of stretch these out and make them a little bit different. Uh, under Advanced Controls, I am going to do Replicate so it doesn't cut in from the corners and have black around it. Now we need to add one more thing from our selection tool. So again, I'm gonna hit shift space bar. We are going to look for vortex. We will grab that right there. It's gonna bring it in and add it. I'm just gonna lift it up here so we're a little bit more tidy. Our node tree is getting a little crazy here. On vortex, I'm gonna hit number two so we can see that it, again, it's affecting it the most. And in here, we can really start to mess with things. Uh, and it, you can have a lot of fun with this. So I just like making it I don't know, generally about that size. I'm gonna scroll to the beginning right here and we are gonna bring this, let's bring this down a little bit, something like that. Let's go and turn the size up quite a bit. That should be pretty good. Bring it down here. That way it's not like right in the center. If you wanted it to be right in the center where it's spinning and looking real trippy, just leave it right in the center and then just uh, do the same kind of keyframes I'm doing. Just don't move the center X or Y. So I'm gonna go ahead and add a keyframe on the center and size um, and angle. And I'm on keyframe zero. I'm gonna scroll all the way to the end here and we are going to drag it up a little bit, just like that. Let's size it up just a little bit, not a lot, just a little bit. And we're also going to spin it a little bit, something like that. That looks pretty trippy. I, I like that. I think that looks really cool. Uh, you can do, again, way more. You could do a white background if you'd like. Let me bring up both screens right here real quick. We could always go and uh, click on these and change the size of them if we wanted to, and it would affect everything. Something I really think is cool is every once in a while, you can actually go in and you can change the color type. And here you can really start to change things, like we could change this to four corners, and we could change this whole thing to different colors, and it's going to start being a little bit different. Like you can see, it looks like more colors are mixed in there, and I think that's kind of cool. So as it spins, you're actually going to start to see a little bit more colors tripped inside there. Again, you don't have to do that. You could just leave it the solid color, and it's still gonna look really cool, uh, but that is something that you could do if you've got bigger colors, maybe only four or five of them, try changing it from solid color to some of these different ones, horizontal, vertical, gradient, uh, and it'll start to look really cool. You'll have different effects and it'll really look really neat at the end of it. Of course, the very last thing you need to do is grab the vortex right here and connect it to our media out, let it render out, watch it through, and you're basically done. There you go, guys. That's how you create a custom liquid background. If you guys do this effect and you use it in a video, please tag me on Instagram and Twitter. I would love to see your guys' work. I'd love to see what you come up with because this is so cool and you can make it really any style you want. So you can make this like 10 different times and you're never gonna have some be identical to it. Uh, if you guys got something out of this video, give me a thumbs up, drop a comment below. Let me know what you guys think of this effect. If you're new here, consider subscribing. I will see you guys in the next one. I'm the Iron Giant. You guys are amazing. Peace.